is the third book in the Maze Runner series. In this book, the Glitters are spending more time with the Team Wicked than they ever thought they would be. Wicked is the team that runs the trials. Wicked has claimed that all the lies are over, but the Glitters have a hard time believing. Before James Dashner became an author, he studied accounting and worked in the field of finance. He considers himself one of the luckiest guys in the world because he is making a living writing stories. He lives in the Rocky Mountains and loves to snow ski in his free time. He has four kids and loves spending time with them. When he was younger, he used to use his parents' old typewriter to write stories on just for fun. The Maze Runner series was influenced by Ender's Game and Lord of the Flies. Whenever James has a tough time writing, he takes a break and watches a movie or reads a book. And then the ideas start to flow and he can't get them all down. The title of this book is The Death Cure. And I think the title relates to the cure the Gladers were told they were going to get when they finished the second time. The target audience that would like to read these books are teens and young adults. This series is perfect for people who like The Hunger Games and Divergent. This book is filled with action and suspense, which is perfect for people who like books that keep them on the edge of their seats. Thomas couldn't tell if this friend was serious or just trying to seem tough, but the creepy grin still hadn't left Nate's face. So Thomas forced a smile onto his own. If you're cool with slowly going crazy and wanting to eat small children, then I guess we won't cry for you. Words have never felt so empty before. Good that, Newt responded. The smile disappeared, though. This passage highlights verbal irony because Newt says that he is not worried about anything so that he looks tough, but he really is scared on the inside. Thomas was just as curious to hear Teresa's opinion. He nodded at his former friend and waited for her to speak. There was still a small part of him that foolishly expected her to finally speak out against what Wicked was doing. The whole novel is written in third-person point of view. An unknown narrator tells a story and zooms in on Thomas' thoughts and feelings. When Thomas and his friends go through the trials that Wicket puts them through, it reminds me of rats going through different tests in a lab with scientists watching their every move. This series is mostly about finding a cure to the disease. This relates to how doctors research and do tests to find cures for diseases every day. I would give the book four and a half stars out of five. The book is very suspenseful and will have the reader on the edge of their seat the whole time. It follows the other two books in the series very well. There are a few confusing parts, but none that don't get resolved in the end. The book is hard to put down once you pick it up and start reading.